Our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Beloved, he has given us a life. We are still breathing. So let us thank him. Our Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, the mighty Jehovah, we thank you for another day. It is by your power, it is by your might, it is by your authority for giving us a breath for your children around the whole world. You alone can do it for us. We thank you. We give you all the glory because you control life and everything is from you. What a good father. What a loving king. We thank you that with you all things are possible. We exalt your name for giving us a life for your children around the whole world. You are almighty Jehovah. We thank you, we honor you, we glorify you. It is your mercy that your children are still alive. Unto thee, O Lord, with you, all things are possible. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving, amen. Beloved in Christ, I welcome the listeners and I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that this is another day that you have availed yourself to listen to Prophet Kenewu TV. May you all be blessed that the word that is coming will sanctify us all. And with God, all things are possible. So the viewers, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, today is another day. He has given us a word. And the title of the message is God's mercy. We need the mercy of God. So without wasting time, let us go to the scriptures. Our first reading is taken from uh, Isaiah 30 and the verse is 18. Let us hear the word of God, hallelujah. Isaiah 18, Isaiah 30 verse 18 says, and therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are they that wait upon him. The mercy of God is what you and I need. That's why Isaiah, the prophet, is telling you and I that God, when we wait upon him, that he may have a gracious unto you and I. That means we will have abundance of his grace. The more we fellowship, the more we know him, his mercy will be upon us so that we will exalt him because he's God. And the mercy of God upon you and I is all that we need. So we have to wait upon him and fellowship with him in a daily basis. The mercy of God is the spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit in you and I. So beloved, we have to wait upon the Lord. He is a good God. 
We continue. Our second reading is taken from second reading is taken from uh, Exodus, the book of Exodus. So we go to Exodus. 33 and the verse is 19. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. It is only the Lord, our Savior, our God, the Almighty, the Holy One, who has mercy. That's why he is telling us in Exodus 33, 19, saying that he will show his mercy upon whom I will show mercy. It is him alone that can show us mercy. His mercy is everlasting to everlasting. So beloved, you and I, we need the mercy of God. And without the mercy, there is nothing we can do. His mercy has to be upon us in abundance. And the more we know him, his mercy will be upon us. Oh, what a mighty God. What a mighty Savior. We continue with Psalm 103. And the verse is 17. Let us hear Psalm 103 17 says, But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children, children. So the mercy. When the mercy of the Lord is upon you, it's everlasting to everlasting. That means from your generation to generation, because of his righteousness and because that you fear the God Almighty. So we need the mercy of God to be upon us, we and our children and our children's children. So beloved, this is what we need. When the mercy of God is upon you, it is not you alone. It is you and your generation. So beloved, let us be aware that with God, his mercy endure forever. Hallelujah. We continue in the book of Hosea and the verse is two. Over, oh, Hosea two and the verse is 23. Let us hear what the book of Hosea is saying. And I will sow her unto the earth and I will have mercy upon her that had obtain mercy, and I will say unto them which were not my people, that are my people, and they shall say, thou art my God. Beloved, if you don't have a mercy of God upon you, you are not his child, only his mercy endure forever and forever. 
And if you are not, you don't have the mercy of God upon your life. That means you are not part of him. That means you are not covered. That means you don't know him. So we need to have the mercy of God upon our life by knowing him, by fellowshipping, by fellowshipping with him in a daily basis. So beloved, we need the mercy of God that will help us. So without the mercy of God, where are we heading to? That means we can be swallowed by Satan and his demons. So this is the hour that you and I, when we pray to our Father, when we pray to our Lord, we have to ask mercy. May your mercy be upon us and our children and our children's children. Beloved, this is what we need in this life. Hallelujah. We continue with our last scripture. That is 2 Peter and the verse is 2 Peter 3, verse 18. Let us hear the word of God. But grow in grace and in, in the knowledge of the Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory, both now and forever, and forever. Amen. Here, Christ is telling us we should grow in his mercy. He alone has mercy for you and I. So the more we grow, in his mercy, it will be his mercy abundant upon us. We need his mercy. And mercy go with what? Faith. And also with grace. All this is from God. So beloved, let us be aware and ask his mercy and his grace and his faith so that our spiritual life will grow in abundance. We thank him for giving us a word. This is what you and I need so that we can be with him. These are the things that God wants you and I to have in this life. May his mercy endure forever in our life. We thank him for giving us this word this morning. May his name be praised and adored for giving us a word. Unto thee, O Lord, would you, all things are possible. We thank you for giving us the food that the soul need. In your mighty name, we honor it. We accept it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are a good God. Spirit of the living God, may you help your prophet. May you protect him. May you guide him, him and his family, and also his viewers. May you bless them. Whatever they want, their heart desire, mighty Jehovah, you alone can provide it for them. So this morning, we thank you. We honor you. We glorify you that your word has come forth. I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in your name, May all things be possible. Amen.